We uh, have a quorum. I'll call the meeting to order and make a motion to um, nominate Betsy for as acting chair today. Do I have a second? I second. Has the meeting been called to order? Okay. Roll call. Matt Guillory, Jorge Charnico, Dylan Bradway, Betsy Brunstetter. Present. Donna Cervantes. Present. Tyler Holmes. Here. Lee Peoples. Ben Sellers. Here. And James Barnum. Here. You have a quorum. Hello. Sorry to be late. I was out of town. Um, we need approval of minutes. I assume that everyone has had an opportunity to read the minutes. Do we have a motion and a second? Make a motion to approve as second. submitted. Second. Anyone? Oh. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Next, the next order of business is Cases withdrawn, there are none. Continuance request, there are none. Is that still true? Okay. Um, consent docket, there are none. Cases for individual consideration. 1610 North Gatewood Avenue in the Plaza District is the applicant present. David Ledbetter, 2612 Drakestone. Joey Morris, 2108 Northwest 27. Okay. When you, when you have a minute, just sign in. Sure. Paula, did you get Joey's last name? Okay. You want to tell us about your project or wait? Michael, talk to us. Uh, yes, this item was continued from the last UDC meeting on June 28, 2017. Um, the commission had a variety of concerns, um, and the applicant had a tight deadline to uh, have a turnaround and respond to those issues with revised designs. And uh, they did do that with a submittal uh, on the 5th of July. And among the changes that were made in the new submittal uh, that is provided for you in your packet is a redesign of the patio wall along North Gatewood Avenue, redesign of the south wall of the patio to include, uh, to provide an enclosure that is more attractive screening mechanism, the elimination of televisions in the outdoor patio area, and the patio wall has been altered to incorporate a brick cap. Um, Bottom line is, uh, although we've still identified a potential issue with the fact that you've gone from a brick building that's existing there today to a stucco clad building for the addition, uh, we've discussed that in the considerations of the report and uh, left it to the discretion of the commission to determine whether or not it's compatible with the brick building. Uh, we've provided a recommendation of approval to the commission and we're prepared to respond to any questions the commission may have. Okay. Do you want to go over any of your changes, or would you like the commission to go ahead and answer, ask you some questions? Or uh, sure. Actually, well, we took into consideration the uh, recommendations from the commission last month. Uh, instead of having a straight facade on the west, we decided to help engage the street with additional plantings. And on the south, we put a trellis uh, screen up to help protect the residential property across the street. Okay. Um, any comments or questions from the commission? Donna? I like it. I think it addresses the concerns. I like the, uh, the changes that are made, and uh, especially that, uh, that brick uh, uh, cap. I think it adds uh, the color, the interest, and the, the screening that were requested. So thank you. Okay. Um, I wasn't here last month, but I like this project. I yeah, it's uh, from the first time I saw it, so it's improved. I'll, I'll make a motion to approve according to staff recommendation, unless there's any other comments. 
We have a second. Second. That is a Donna and Ben motion, am I correct? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We have uh, approved your application. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next application is 519 Northwest 23rd Street. Is the applicant present? Yes. Hi there. Hi. Um, Michael? Uh, this is an application for three, pardon, three freestanding signs proposed in the right of way in front of the building at 519 Northwest 23rd Street, also known as the Rise. It is a um, multi tenant commercial building with a sizable number of tenants um, located in the rear of the building with no exposure to Northwest 23rd Street. Um, in order to have signage in the public right of way, a variance is required because it's a provision in the sign code that prohibits it. Um, we've laid out uh, for the commission um, our justification and consideration for why we think that the proposed signage is justified. Uh, and we've also provided a recommendation to the commission of approval with a couple of conditions of approval that are contained in your staff report. Did want to point out, uh, I think you have on the dais an email we received yesterday afternoon from Stuart Shai in the Public Works Department. Um, these signs would ultimately need to get a revocable permit, uh, assuming that they got approval from commission and also received a, approval of a variance from the Board of Adjustment. Mr. Chai has indicated that at this time uh, he would not recommend the approval of the issuance of the revocable permits, and uh, that's information we've provided to you as soon as we received it yesterday afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure how um, that would or would not influence the Commission's decision based on the design review aspect of these signs. Um, we've explained to the applicant that um, Basically, the commission can still recommend approval of the CA, and they can apply for the variance and get approval of the of the variance from the Board of Adjustment. But um, at the end, they could be stopped in the tracks if they can't get a revocable permit. So they are informed as their options uh, that are available to them. And uh, as I said, we've provided a recommendation of approval. We're prepared to respond to any questions the commission may have. Thank you, Michael. Would you please state your name? I know I didn't do that right, so. <laughs> Troy Humphrey with Land Run Commercial Real Estate Advisors. And I, do you plan to speak? Yeah. Kate Kutowski, Industrial Sign. Okay. Um, so do you want to say anything about that, or do you want us to have discussion? How would you like to approach that? I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, and if anybody feels they couldn't support this, happy to have a discussion and an understanding of why. And we simply found out about this email from Stuart about 20 minutes ago. So we really haven't had sufficient time to go talk with him. Um, we've worked with him in the past where he had some concerns and were able to work through them, but would respectfully ask the commission to go ahead and approve the design aspect of it and let Stuart and I have a conversation to discuss the traffic concerns. Do, okay, great. Do we have any comments or questions from the committee, the commission? Um, do we know what Stuart's concerns are? Is it uh, obstruction? Is it the size? All, all we know is what's been presented to us in the email that you have. Um, typically, his concerns are usually confined to traffic safety concerns. Um, we are no ex experts in traffic safety, but um, we're kind of, I guess, uh, wondering to ourselves how these are obstructions that would affect traffic safety. Um, we're not sure exactly what information Mr. Chai has reviewed and how familiar he is with the totality of the case, but this is the information we received from yesterday, so. Would we be re approving their location or just the design, and so if they needed to be moved in order not to be an obstruction, as I'm seeing. Uh, the, what you would be doing would be uh, approving the location. Um, if you approve the location and somewhere down the line between now and the time they get the revocable permit, if they were able to do so, uh, they needed to move 
uh, one, one or more of the signs, we could probably do that with an administrative revision to the CA and not have to bring it back to the commission. I think we could. I'm with Land Run Commercial as well. I work with Troy, and uh, I didn't hear what you last said because the most important thing about this is the location of the signs. Um, we feel like that right here is the best visibility for our tenants and the way that the traffic moves. You cannot see signs if they were placed above on the building. Okay, so one of the things I would ask, and I think that was is within our purview, is if oh I think we were I think we were talking about where on the land okay okay I sorry I, I didn't along understand the street that. I apologize and um, I think we could potentially say you know within ten feet as long as it doesn't encroach in the intersection or well um, I'm not sure that ten feet is the measure that might fix the problem I'm thinking right. it might need to move. Uh, an entire planter or to the other end of a planter and these planters I think are like 20 feet long or something like that so I think um, like I said it's not it's not a big deal for the Commission if they're inclined to approve the project to approve it as is and then if we find out through the rest of the process that they need to readjust the location somewhere else on 23rd Street that we could uh, have them file uh, a revision request for the CA and approve it administratively, and I would say we probably would do that with no fee. Okay. Sounds good to me. Anybody, uh, anybody else have any questions or comments? I think they're attractive. I don't have any problem with them. Thank you. Um, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. It's going to be a little bit wordy because I'm going to read this. I'll make a motion to approve the application on the basis the project meets the regulations and guidelines of the Urban Design Overlay District Zoning Ordinance as referenced in Section C and D of the staff report uh, with two conditions, that these freestanding signs be limited to four tenants per sign, shall be limited to only, only to tenants with no street frontage on Northwest 23rd, shall have the same tenant identification on both sides of each sign, shall not allow any tenant to have identification on more than one of these three freestanding signs. Second condition, the applicant shall obtain a variance from the Board of Adjustment from the regulation that no signs be placed in the street right away and that we provide a recommendation of approval. Uh, that's, that's the second motion. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good job. Make them at the same time? Very enthusiastic. Can I make them at the same time? <laughs> no, we, we okay. usually do too. Okay. So, do we have a second? Second. Okay. That is a Sellers Varnum motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Your application is approved, Ben. I'll make a motion uh, to provide a recommendation of approval to the Board of Adjustment for a variance from the prohibition against signs in the street right away. Do we have a second? Second. That's uh, Sellers and Holmes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Next item is 614 Northwest 8th Street. Hello. Uh, this item is um, related to a previous approval that the Commission gave, uh, let's see, back in October of 2016, wherein the applicant requested some uh, opportunity to do some exploring work on the structure of the building by being approved to remove uh, a great deal of the siding on the house. Uh, since that time they've done uh, their exploratory work and made some determinations as to what uh, the viability of the existing structure is and what needs they have in terms of providing new siding and so on and so forth for the project are. Um, we have um, uh, the project involves the demolition of um, some of the existing features on the site, uh, renovation of the exterior of the structure, construction of an addition at the rear of the building, and the construction of a covered um, parking structure at the back of the alley. Also involves uh, construction of on-site sidewalks and signage, installation of landscaping, and <laughs> construction of four different types of fencing. Um, we've done an analysis of this uh, 
proposed project against the applicable design uh, guidelines and development regulations of the code. Um, this is another one where one of the options involving the freestanding signs is uh, an option that includes a sign that would be located in the public right of way. It's kind of an either or situation as presented by the applicant. Uh, they have a, a freestanding sign out front that could go in one location or the other, and they want the opportunity to pursue either one. So considering that you have the one proposed out in the public right of way, we need to make um, the same analysis of the um, sign in the um, public right away and take the same actions with respect to uh, the variance and providing a recommendation to the Board of Adjustment on that variance request. Uh, we have made a recommendation to the Commission of Approval and we're prepared to respond to any questions the Commission may have. Is the applicant present? Yes. Yeah. Hi. Kina Odin, uh, do you want the personal address or the address, address of the property? Uh, your address is fine. 4000 North Kelly Avenue. Okay. Ken Fitzsimmons, architect with Tash Design, <clears throat> and the project says 614 Northwest State. So do you have anything to show us on this? I'm really interested in, in kind of the process and stuff, if you have anything like that. Anything to show you? Yeah, pictures. Well, we have, well, you we know. have the slides here. Uh, okay. Slides of the, uh, Michael did a good job of showing the existing site around there. The way it is now, maybe that's a good place to start. Um, we're pretty excited about this. I mean, this is this is we think the oldest home in the cottage district. And uh, the thing I was excited about is a lot of times uh, developers and owners are sometimes in a little bit of a hurry to maybe uh, oh, if something's kind of run down a little bit, maybe to tear it down. And, and Kina has the courage and vision to uh, save this building. And I think it's I think that should be commended right there. It's got a lot of termite damage, has a lot of rot, um, a lot of settling. It's it's could be argued by a lot of people that maybe it is worthy of being torn down because of the amount of money it takes to rebuild this. But uh, we feel like in the end it's going to be a better project and it will add value to the um, to the surrounding neighbors to restore this building and certainly keep the character in the neighborhood, which is um, there's a lot of modern structures in here. But we wanted to bring back the the original structure. Have it as an example, uh, not a historic building per se, but a more historic uh, uh, example of what is in the neighborhood or what started the neighborhood. And so the additions are done in a very quiet way to uh, let the original building show through. And I don't have a do you have the slide counter by chance or the, the slides for the original, what it looks like now. There are some photos you had in the packet. There we go. So the original application by Kino was to take off the siding. It had a non-original vinyl siding on it. It was in pretty bad shape. Is that right? Yeah. So, so the idea was to take it off and see, what, see what's underneath there and see what we're dealing with. And as, and as I said, there's a lot of rot and a lot of termite damage. But aside from that, we also found some really interesting things that uh, we found some windows that were not uh, previously exposed. And so we we propose to bring back some of those original windows. Um, we don't think that the front porch, from what we can tell, it doesn't appear to be original. And the reason we say that is the structure, we're not sure actually how it's standing right now, to be honest. <laughs> there's a siding behind where the porch roof comes up to the building, and there's a gap there. And so I think the only thing holding it up are those little metal columns. But typically, we're used to seeing uh, porches framed into the the building and then the siding put around it, but it's not that way, so it's a real interesting case. But the, the proposal, the, the most, uh, the largest change to the front would be to take off that porch and to create two, or to create a new porch area with balconies above, utilizing the existing openings at the second level as doorways to that balcony. And uh, one of the, the porch on the west side, on the front, that has siding on it now, actually appears to have been at one time outdoors. Um, and when you go inside of that, there's actually windows into the stairwell. So there are windows on the interior that we think would have been originally on the exterior. So that's the reason we're also proposing expanding the, uh, the uh, balcony in the upper level. Um, 
the other thing that we proposed on the front is what we're calling the tower, and that is a little bit more contemporary, but the idea is to provide a, uh, a corner detail there that was reminiscent of, of uh, some of the Victorian era homes where they typically had a turret or something like that. So it's kind of a modern play on that. And functionally, it would work as a way to divide the uh, spaces. The, the intent of this is to be a mixed use. Uh, Kina's uh, looking at this from a long-term standpoint. We'll go ahead and fully sprinkle the building. And that way it could be mixed use where it's residential on the upper level and maybe some sort of office or, or something like that on the lower level. Cool. And uh, so the idea is to have four spaces and four porch balcony type areas for those tenants. And that's also the reason you see the blade signage there for the lower level only. We're not proposing putting signs for the residential above. And it depends on the tenants and their needs uh, as far as specifics of the signs, but we would like to have approval for the size and the location as we've shown them. Um, the materials on the addition, again, are intended to be reminiscent of the existing but not an exact match. The existing siding is wood, and the intent is to bring that back and restore where we can. And uh, on the new is to use fiber cement siding as a, as a newer version of a lap siding and windows that would also be similar to the old windows. Uh, currently, the windows are actually, in most cases, vinyl, I believe. Uh, somewhere along the way, somebody changed those out. And then we also have some new back porch balcony areas. Yes, we, uh, yeah, good point. We're leaving the existing windows wherever possible. There are some that are in really rough shape that will need to be repaired or replaced. But in general, the idea is to basically leave the old structure as it is, clean it, you know, obviously new finishes and, and so forth, and then for the addition to be something that's tucked in behind the old house. Um, the parking that you see there, uh, we wanted to provide parking spaces and then have a storage flank each end there on the east and west side. So. We think we can get five parking spaces in there. And again, the idea is this is a simple structure that hopefully is uh, just kind of a quiet uh, uh, structure that doesn't compete with the, the house. And also, uh, well, before anybody builds a, anything behind this place, at least we'll have a little bit of a view downtown. We anticipate that you know, people will build to the south up here. But in the meantime, uh, enjoy the view. Um, some landscaping uh, that will be brought in over time, but the intent is to make this a, um, a lush area that people can enjoy while they're there, have a little bit of an oasis, enjoy an older home, and, uh, and enjoy the cottage district. I don't know if you want to add anything else. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the committee? Can you address the um, issue with the sign in the front? Gives a detail on what the size is, the, yes, the one uh, that would be in the right of way. It should be, I think it's in the packet. Let me find the page. There we go. So in the upper left corner, the uh, sign in the, the farthest to the left there that shows the proposed size approximately four feet by four feet, and it would be on the ground. And that's the one we're talking about in the, the right-of-way, if, if as an option, like Michael said, either in the right-of-way or on the property. But the intent is to place it in the front and passers-by on the sidewalk can see it. Any other comments or questions? I just want to applaud you for saving the house. I think that's Thank admirable. We don't, we don't see enough of that. So. Looks great. Do we have a, anyone in the audience want to speak to this? OK. Um, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion for approval. Um, let's see, according to staff on the basis that the project meets the regulations and guidelines of the De downtown design district zoning ordinance as referenced in section C and D of the staff report with the condition that the applicant shall obtain a variance from the Board of Adjustment from the prohibition against sign in the street right of way. 
Do I have a second? Second. That was Donna and Ben. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Your application has been approved. Now we need another, another motion. I'll move for approval to recommend um, approval of to the Board of Adjustment for a variance from the prohibition against signs in the street right of way. Second. That was Donna and Ben again. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Our next item is 616 Northwest 6th Street. Is the applicant present? Welcome. Uh, this application involves the demolition of an existing structure on the site. Um, and the construction of a new single story, excuse me, two story single family home uh, on the site that uh, would replace that existing structure. It also involves an installation of landscaping, construction of concrete stairways and sidewalks, new curb and gutter at the street, and driveway from the alley to the garage with some wood fencing along the eastern property line. Um, we have assess this application against the applicable development standards and design guidelines for the uh, cottage district, which are the DTD1 regulations. Um, and uh, first of all, we've gone through in detail the uh, applicable guidelines for demolition of structures. Um, I think we've explained to you in the considerations section of the report um, that there are some significant structural deficiencies and utility deficiencies, code deficiencies in the existing structure, and the ability to renovate the structure is in question. And we provided some photographs uh, to demonstrate, and we've only given you probably <laughs> half of the ones that we got from the applicant. There's a lot more where that came from. Um, so Michael, can you explain what the map is showing here? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this map shows the property on the south side of 6th Street between uh, North Lee and North Dewey. It's the yellow highlighted area here. It's a very narrow 25-foot wide lot, and uh, this uh, lavender map shows it in the greater context of the cottage district. Um, so what, are the, what are all the other pink things? Is that just the, the cottage district boundary? The, the lavender color is the cottage district boundary. Pink for me, <laughs> lavender for you, whatever. Okay. Um, we, uh, as I said, in, at the bottom of page seven, we provided the, some detailed uh, analysis of the status of the existing structure in terms of it being a historic um, designation. Uh, basically, it's, it's not um, contributing to the character of the district. Um, and we've uh, identified some of the issues with the significance of the building and the structural integrity. Um, secondly, um, as you're familiar with the DTD-1 guidelines for Cottage District, it also requires a 24-inch uh, uh, elevation for the front entry, which typically is something that the Commission has been in the habit of waiving for contemporary structures, such as the ones proposed before you today. So um, there are no variances associated with this particular proposal. We've prepared a recommendation for the Commission of Approval. Uh, we're prepared to respond to any questions that the Commission may have. Hello. Hi. Can you state your name, please? Yes, I'm Andy Zeke, 2235 Northwest 55th Street. I'm the owner of the property. Right. So is there anything you want to tell us, or would you like us? I, I think it's a nice design. No, well, yeah. thanks. Yeah, we just hope to put in a, a single family residence and we've worked with uh, Clint Spencer who went through last month and has basically a similar type home. He's building everything back to the east. So we'll just feel it fits in with the new face of the neighborhood. Basically, it's a vacant block right now. Mm -hmm. I actually like the way you've uh, addressed the street. You've come a little bit more in keeping with with uh, some of the like eyes on the street than other some some of the other houses we've seen recently. Yeah. So. Well, thank you. Um, any other comments or questions from the committee? 
You guys are so talkative today. Um, any motions, Donna? <laughs> Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the application on the basis that the project meets the regulations and guidelines of the Downtown Design District Zoning Ordinance as referenced in Section C and D of the Staff Report. Second. Okay. That was a Ben and Tyler motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Looks like your, your application is approved. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. That was, you waited a long time for that. Um, we have some administrative approvals on the, at the end of the docket. Um, is there anything that you would like to talk about, Michael, or is, um, should we all, all go pretty back Pretty straightforward, a couple of projects in the Plaza District, uh, one, uh, both of them really for signage and uh, painting the building on a separate application, and then um, we got a sign. Uh, along Northwest 23rd in the, in the Uptown Corridor, and uh, another sign also uh, in the Uptown Corridor. I think the most detailed project we had there is item number two, or A2, which is um, renovation of the existing structure on the um, western portion of Northwest 23rd uh, past uh, North Claussen um, to bring a new restaurant uh, into an existing structure uh, and freshen up the building with um, outdoor uh, balcony and, and do quite a lot of other um, exterior improvements to the project. Um, other than that, um, there's nothing uh, of any importance to relate to the commission. If you have any questions, we're prepared to respond to those. Cool. Are there any other comments from the planning department? No. Any other comments from the commission members? This is an exciting meeting. The next meeting is Wednesday, August 23rd. Uh, the applications were due by July 25th. Do we have any, be, any applications? We got slammed. Oh. Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Okay. Good to know. We didn't continue any from today, so you don't have these to add to it. So anyway. Meeting is over. We are adjourned. Thank you, Betsy. You're welcome.